So I just wrote up this cool KDNet client implementation that allows me to communicate into uh, with like WinBag and KD. Uh, I use this to debug box now without actually having to attach a debugger to the guest. So what's cool about that is you can single step things you normally can't. The guest doesn't really know there's a debugger there, uh, so on and so forth. So we're gonna launch a standard little kernel debugger here, and then we're gonna resume a box snapshot on this terminal here. So this will break into the kernel debugger on the first exception that it sees. Uh, I just needed some event to determine when to try and break into the debugger. Why not exceptions? So if we take a look, we're in this uh, mm create tab. Uh, it is indeed trying to access an, an invalid address, which is causing a fault. Um, but if I step that, we'll see now we're in page fault. And I can look at the uh, stack, and we can see the um, error code, we can see RIP, R flags, we can see uh, RSP, SS. So we've got a standard IRET frame there, and so we're able to single step that. I can also step multiple instructions at a time if I want. So in this case, I'm going to uh, save a keyframe at this location. Really, I have no reason to, it's just a, a demo. So then what I'll do is once that's saved, I'll resume execution and just let this kind of do uh, whatever it wants. So we'll see in the um, uh, Chrome refresh image, eventually things will kind of update on the screen, numbers will increase and, and whatever. So we're gonna break in. We see that it's currently at functions called is 161. Um, I'm gonna take a look at what the register state looks like and we'll make another keyframe. We'll call this keyframe one. It's just a name, it doesn't really have any, any special meaning. And then we'll resume execution again. So we're just gonna wait for the guest to do something fun. Do, 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 there we go. The screen just went yellow. So um, let's just pretend as if this yellow screen were a blue screen or some event I wanted to look into. What I could do is I could go back to keyframe one and there we go, we've just teleported back in time to, uh, to the state. So what's cool about this is this is a fully mutable environment. You're not just looking at where the, where the snapshot was. Um, you're actually looking at uh, a completely active VM that you can change things. So if I were to look at, uh, in this case, we're about to do a test of RSP plus 10. Uh, it's checking the bottom bit if the bottom bit is zero, which it is, it will go to F2C. Uh, otherwise, it will fall through and do the swap GS. I'm guessing this is probably checking if it's already in kernel mode. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, edit RSP plus 10. I'm going to change the byte to an FF. So now we shouldn't see it go to F2C like it would have. Um, instead, we fall through to swap GS. And we can continue... We can continue execution here, um, and we can see box panics because it like uh, it actually hard triple faulted in the guest because we probably just uh, converted a user mode exception into a kernel mode exception or vice versa. So this is not actually really a, a bug in my stuff. It's boxes trying to read um, from the prompt, and I'm like, nope, sorry, box is dead. So anyways... That's kind of a cool thing that I've been working on. You can jump forward and backward in time, you can change things, and everything is completely deterministic. So if you jump back to a previous point, and then you run a thousand instructions, uh, and you do that again, you'll end up in exactly the same register state, the interrupts will be delivered on the same instruction boundaries, um, all the device state is reset, uh, as you saw with the screen getting, getting reset. So it's just a really cool environment to work on, and. Uh, I'm excited to uh, polish this up and, and eventually get this, uh, get this to be a public tool. So, cool. I thought you guys would enjoy that.